Success is good as long as you understand what is really the heart of it. But if you're not fulfilled in your quest, you're going to fail. CEOs are the biggest gamblers on earth, right? Because every day we step up to the table, push the chips into the middle, and we push our success that we had yesterday. And we say, I think we can do it again. And I think we can do it a little bit better. During your time in the NFL, you took advantage of some programs. You had a degree in finance from Howard. You pursued some construction management. What drew you to the idea of going into construction post-football? To be real, I chase money. I didn't know construction. I had no aspirations of being this phenomenal home improvement 10 out type of guy. That this wasn't it for me. And for a while it worked out and I gambled and I won. And I tell everybody, I was very successful in my path. Eight figures. I had a lot of money. I had cars. I had all these things, but I was never fulfilled in the quest of being a construction owner. I wasn't happy with what I was doing. I wasn't fulfilling. So to me, Success is good as long as you understand what is really the heart of it. But if you're not fulfilled in your quest, you're going to fail. How did you double down to like realize, man, this isn't me. I'm in this quest for money. So what I found is that I doubled down on the things that didn't matter, right? And if you're going to double down in life, double down things that matter, like character, relationships, people, not money, not fame, not notoriety. And as a result of that, I made some really, really bad mistakes. I was really all about myself and what I wanted and what I needed. And I lost sight of people and people drive everything in business. And if you don't have strong people around you, you will fail.